What happens if you multiply every number in your list? Let's see the magic result. Let's go. First of all, we will ask the user to introduce numbers separated by spaces. So for example, numbers will, uh, will equal to an input asking the user numbers separated, separated, I think, uh, by spaces. Right? Perfect. Apart from that, we will also add the split function here, which basically it takes all the elements we have in numbers, okay, using the space. So basically it creates a list of those numbers using the space as a separator. Okay, let's move on. So now I'm gonna create product, product, which will be equal to one at the beginning. Why? Because if we equal it to zero, then we will erase everything each time we multiply. So it makes no sense. So that's why this is the best way. Now we go through every number in our list. So for example, for X in numbers, okay? And now we create a loop. And what are we gonna do in each iteration of this loop? Let's see. We will convert each number to a float and then we will multiply it by product. So product is the same as product multiplied by the float, the float uh, of x, which it will be each number, every iteration. This is the long way to do it, but if we wanna do it shorter, we can do this way. Boom, and uh, float of x, okay? This is very simple syntaxis. I hope you understand. Now let's move on. Now we are gonna print the total product of these numbers. So let's print and say product, and then I'm gonna use the product variable that we created. And that's everything. Let's try it. In this case, I'm gonna try with numbers two and three. This is six already, this is 12, and this is 48, if I'm not mistaken, 48 and 10. This should be 480, right? Oh yeah, for sure, it works. I'm gonna try it again, in this case with some stupid numbers, I don't even know. But then we are gonna add here a zero, which it will make everything, like it will make the product to be zero, right? So let's see, let's test, and the product is zero. Perfect, just as we were expecting.